What's up, Tiger fans? It's Morgan, Big Al in Houston here again to talk about another recruit on the trail for 2022. Gabriel Brownlow Dendy is a 2022 target defensive tackle prospect from Lakeland High School in Lakeland, Florida. Before we get into the video, make sure you like this video and you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our exclusive Clemson content we put out every single week. All right, guys, we're talking about Gabe Dendy from, again, Lakeland High School in Lakeland, Florida. You know Lakeland, that's the recruiting bed for the Florida Gators. Even though Clemson pulled a recruit from Lakeland, we lost it just as quickly as we gained it. But this is a five-star guy, another five-star guy, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, ranked as the third best player in Florida. We're going to have some video from Huddle.com. Al, we'll start with you. What's your thoughts on Mr. Dindy? Well, he certainly has great size. I mean, you'll see him uh, in his film that you show that he plays a lot of end. He's a, he's definitely a tackle to me in college. I think he, he certainly has the size. He certainly has the frame to add plenty of weight that, that he'll need to do that. He has very strong hands. Uh, I, I really like how he grabs and hangs on to these guys, sometimes just by the fingertips, it seems like, and he's able to make the tackle. That's something I really like to see out of defensive tackles, that they can use their hands. He has really good burst, especially for his size. I like the way he gets off the ball, very explosive. Um, you know, I think he's he's got to understand his upside is at tackle. Uh, he doesn't need to play in. He needs to play tackle. He needs to put on some weight and get inside, learn the intricacies of the position at defensive tackle. Uh, it, you know, his film looks great. Of course, we're just seeing highlights. There's not a lot, honestly, negative that I see on his film. I think he's got an incredible upside, uh, especially at the college level. Dindy has 23 total offers right now, including Ohio State, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, Clemson, and Florida, as I mentioned earlier. But there's one caveat there, guys. It looks like his parents are both alumni of Oklahoma. So the Sooners are leading the pack, at least what most experts believe. I love him. Got some big old thick legs. You can see a lot bigger in the lower body than anybody else really that he plays against. And he can push and bull rush his way to the backfield. Houston, what's your thoughts? Yeah, no, I, I one thing that I want to touch on with Al is, is Al is saying he, he, he goes in as a tackle, he, he translates better as a college defensive tackle, but I think what, what sets him apart is his versatility. Um, I've seen a lot of comparisons to Ed Oliver. Um, you know, I can see a little bit of Christian Wilkins if he, if he puts on some weight. Um, and the thing about those two is even though they translate better to being a tackle, they're fast enough and big enough and have enough power to be a pass rusher on the edge. If you had injuries, if you had any issues and you're, and you're in a pinch, Christian Wilkins, if you remember in the 2016 season played some at end and he was very good or 15, 15 or 16, he played at end and he was very, very good. Um, so although yes, he translates better as a defensive tackle. And I feel like most teams that would take him want him there. If you're in a pinch, you can put him on the edge and he'll be, I feel like just as successful. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, obviously, when you're in high school, if you're the best defensive lineman, especially one of the best in the nation, you're going to play defensive end. You're not going to play interior line. You're going to get to the outside of any undermatched left tackle, right tackle, whatever it may be, you're going to get past him. And he definitely does that. He definitely goes after you. I can tell, though, he's not necessarily the most agile guy. You don't see a lot of hand moves. You don't see a lot of, you know, spin moves, swim moves, outside moves. You don't see a lot of that stuff. You just see what he's good at. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. So if you're a Dindy family member, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that he sticks to what he's really extremely good at, and that is just going straight at you and getting by you and pushing you down, pushing you around. Uh, not any like, you know, agile, finesse stuff, just n all business straight to you. I think that's why he's going to transition really well into the interior because um, he can clog up that middle of the field, which will be important for, you know, maybe Oklahoma, but definitely Clemson or any other team for sure as you're looking to stop the run up the middle. Hey, let us, let us know what you think about this player. Do you think Dindy is going to go to Clemson? Is he going to go to the obvious choice of Oklahoma or maybe somewhere else? Put it in the comments and let us know. And don't forget to subscribe. This video is brought to you by Black's Tire, Inc. in Westminster, South Carolina. Family owned and operated since 1971. If you need new tires, brakes, alignments, tire repair, or just looking for a friendly professional to help answer your questions, stop by Black's Tire, Inc. located 1415 East Main Street, Westminster, South Carolina, or give them a call 864-647-9292.